So we launched Guaranteed Based Outcomes a few months ago. It's now been um, six weeks ago or so. And the whole premise around it was to go to advertisers and to agencies and say, don't pay us a dime until, until we guarantee you X, Y, Z in terms of um, demo guarantees, age, gender, income, not just uh, the typical age and gender metrics, but we wanted to extend it, all verified by independent third parties that are usually MRC accredited. So that was on the demo stuff. On We did incremental reach and frequency from uh, from TV to linear. That was also, that's verified by a company like iSpot. Then we did um, app installs as verified by Kachava and Apps Fly, just all independents. And then video completion rate, which is again uh, independent. The reason why this is so important is we go to these advertisers and tell them, guarantee you 100%. You, there is no waste here. There is no waste. It's you only pay for what we deliver. And the reception so far has been incredible because clients come to us and saying, what's my risk? You're guaranteeing me 100%. It's not your own, you're not grading your own homework. And you're ver verifying it by independent third party. And it's, you're running it on a premium brand like LG and leveraging the LG inventory. Why not? One um, of the unique aspects you bring to this is your leadership position at Comscore. Hmm. You understand the importance of measurement, both as a measuring and as a currency. How has that shaped the business today and going forward? Yeah, it's shaped quite a bit, actually. And we've thought about it long and hard, saying, where do we want to do? So we had two options uh, in terms of where do we want to be? Do we want to be a walled garden or do we want to become something else? Um, and, you know, we have very unique, valuable data. Our ACR is running on 20 million plus, uh, we have 20 million plus TVs in the U.S. We have access to 140 million plus TVs worldwide. The question that we all had to struggle with at the beginning as we were launching LG ads prior to it being Alfonso is what do we do with, LG, with our ACR data? And we had two options. We had an option of saying we're going to keep it tight to our vest similar to the other OEMs like Samsung and Roku and others, and or do we become completely open and provide it to anybody else that wanted it. Wanted. We decided to take, because for the good for the industry, and for, we wanted to, to um, you know, the Benjamin background and all of that, saying we're going to do something in the middle. And the way I like to explain it is we are providing, we're a gated community. We're not a walled garden, we're a gated community. We give clients a specific passcode to our, our data. If you come in, we agree on the specific business terms and our terms and all of that, and we will give you our data. We will provide you our data. It's not, I'm not gonna give it to everybody, but an exa a perfect example of that is we did a measurement deal only with iSpot. It's not exclusive. We did that deal, uh, we announced that deal late last year. And iSpot is one of our clients that actually has access to our ACR in the United States. Would we do more of those measurement deals? Absolutely, for the right passcode we will give you for the, for the community. So it's like this whole gated community seems to work. We're not gonna give it to everybody, but we are gonna give it to ones that will empower the measurement industry. And look what the fabulous work that iSpot has done so far with the folks at NBC and others, and that is a lot of that data is gonna be powering us. Now we just started that relationship, so over the next couple of years, their data will be coupled, our data will be coupled with other data sources that they have. So you have global ambitions and you have somewhat close to 140 million um, uh, users um, worldwide and 20 million in the United States, which in the cable world of, of yesteryear was a real strong number. In some respects, the, um, the OEMs are uh, today's cable bundle. Uh, what is your offering to the linear advertisers who focus on content first and then reach and then price? So we have exclusive content. So that's the, other, that's the thing that uh, people, the OEMs have invested in content. Can we do more? 100%. We can always do more and that is a big focus of ours is to go and create more exclusive content on the TVs. We have our own fast channels. We have our LG channels which is 350 plus channels in the US and then we have equivalent number of channels in a lot of different countries globally. So that is our exclusive content that we only have. We just did a partnership with the NCAA where it is exclusive content just for LG TV, LG subscribers in the United States. So that's where we're focusing on is not 
not only make the experience better on the TV, ex make sure that we have all the different apps that's available, the streaming apps, but exclusive quality premium content that we can make available to the LG households. What's most exciting for taking a step back? What's most exciting for you about the stage that the industry is at today? And I say the media industry. You know, there's a lot of things that are exciting. So first, the, the rocket ship that we're seeing, that we're experiencing, and just in the past year, has just been incredible. We are absolutely riding the CTV wave. There's no doubt about that. But when you own the screen, when you have proprietary ACR or data running on the, on the screen that's all privacy compliant and opt-in, and you have your own exclusive inventory, you're going to do really well in this industry, right? And you have a brand name that is well recognized. It's not a, you know, it is very, very rare we walk into any client and say, uh, we're LG and no one has heard of LG. It's, it's a household brand name, either your dishwasher, your washing machine, your vacuum, your TV. The thing that's so exciting here is that we're seeing the shift, the shift from linear dollars being moved into CTV at the space, with, especially this up, coming up front. We saw the craziness of the upfronts last year. We're going to see it even more, significantly more, and we're already seeing that this year. We're seeing the amount of, um, I want to say, the reception that we've seen just in the past year. It's as if we've been in business for six, seven years, and we've literally, LG Ads has only been around for slightly over a year. Um, as, a, as an ad now, Alfonso had been there for many, many years, but as the ads business, it's the, the shift, again, the shift to CTV has been incredible and we're in a unique position because we own the screen and we own the data and we have our own content and our own inventory. So we feel like we're in a good spot, but um, you know, we still, there's still a long way to go. Two more questions. Sure. If you were to look a year from now, ahead and behind, what are you thinking? Ahead is, um, for us, and it's for everything in the industry, it's global. For me, it's, it's really is the importance of global is so, because again, we're a global brand. I, I like LG is known all over. So to me, the, the, what we're seeing in the US, we're gonna replicate it in, in Canada. We're gonna replicate it in the UK. We're gonna replicate it in Australia. So that's, what's, that's what we're focused on. Obviously outcomes, obviously all of that. What's also ahead is the exclusive content and inventory. That's what's also ahead. The quality of the screens is also important. One thing that I just wanted to add is over the past couple of years, we've seen four or five years ago, the TV screens at, um, within the LG, you know, everybody buys these LG TVs and Samsung TVs because of the picture quality. That has been phenomenal and that has only increased. The OLED technology and LG TVs is just unbelievable. But what happened four or five years ago, the interfaces or the, the OSs that they had were just was not in par with the sticks in terms of the Roku sticks, the Fire sticks, and all of that. Fast forward four years later, they've all, everyone's caught up. The time spent on these sticks have significantly declined. The time spent on um, the web OSs or the actually operating systems of these TVs has significantly increased. What's gonna happen fast forward? That's only gonna increase. That's only going to increase because that we're spending money on that. We're investing on that platform. We're investing in terms of better apps, better use of usability, better discoverability, all of that so that the reliance on these sticks is not really needed. Why do you need a stick when you have picture quality, amazing technology, and you have a really great platform? 